What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and I wanted to make this quick video because I've been, I've been getting the same questions a lot lately and even though I've already made a video about all my mods, I feel like maybe having a short video would probably help most of you guys, which is answering the most basic, well the most common questions that I get. One of them, it's my wheels. Two is where I got the hood from. Three is where I got the lip from. Wait, where's my lip? Just kidding guys, I, I haven't put it on. Ever since I got back from uh, the beach, I haven't actually took the time to put the, uh, the lip on. But it'll be going on there soon. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to make a video with the top questions that I've been getting a lot lately. And it's not that I'm, I don't mind answering the questions. It's just that I get the same type of questions every single day. Um, not from the same person, from uh, a lot of you guys. And um, I think it's just gonna be easier if I just make a video with the basic questions that I get a lot. And then just kind of refer everybody who asked me because sometimes I'm not able to answer. And I feel kind of bad leaving you guys left on red or if it takes me forever to answer and you guys think that I'm not trying uh, that I don't want to answer you guys. So I'm gonna start off with the most common one which is what type of wheels and what the specs are. Um, I made I believe I have two videos two videos already um, talking about the wheels. But this is gonna be maybe the second or the third one. So listen up guys. The wheels are made by BC Forge and the model is a HBR5. Now the offset, well the specs in the rear, they're 19 by 10 plus 40 and the fronts are 19 by 9 plus 35. But I am running a 12, millim 12 millimeter spacer which technically makes it plus 23 now not everybody can run those specs um, it all depends on what tire what size tire you have and how much camber you're running up front and which that which kind of that kind of leads to is are you on springs or coilovers if you're on springs I recommend to just keeping the 19 by 9 plus uh, what I say 35 and if you're on coilovers you can go lower uh, depending on what size tire you have uh, you'll have a little bit of stretch or maybe you won't have any stretch at all um, that's kind of something that you can play with and right now I have the settings to my liking I feel like I think I'm gonna be going to a 245 next because I think I can fit it <laughs> so, I'm at my spot which is right next to the highway so eventually I'll find a new spot to go fill but anyways uh, yeah so that's for the wheel specs that's pretty much it if you're wondering about tire sizes i'm running 275 35s in the back and the front it's 235 35 but like i said i'm thinking about going up to a 245 35 all right so next question would be where did i get my hood from i just made a video recently and i'm still getting uh, questions about it which is okay guys but trust me like I put on every single one of my pictures on Instagram follow the build link in the link in the description or in the bio but anyways if you're interested on in getting the hood I have the link in the description below so you can go and find it there all right so what's the other question about the front lip the front lip which I do not have so I can show you guys but if you saw it on my Instagram it's the lip the P lip from JHP Dynamics a lot of people thought that it was too aggressive, that it stuck out too much, but once they see it in person, they change their mind about it. Um, to be honest, I was on the fence about it when I first placed the order. I was like, well, what if I don't like it? Because I started seeing pictures of it sticking out too far. But then it just kind of stuck to my, like, I had this vision that I wanted something clean but aggressive. And I knew that I really wanted the GTS hood, and I was like, that's gonna go perfect with the lip and the hood so I went and got the lip first and then eventually I was able to get the hood um, so the lip once again it's from JHP Dynamics I don't have it but I will put it in the uh, description below from now on um, what was the other question oh my exhaust setup <laughs> my exhaust setup is just a muffler delete I've showed it plenty of times but here's another view of it now if you guys want something similar to this you guys can actually order it from VRSF they make something that's very similar now 
and I think you can actually pick your own different tips or if you're kind of one, wondering what those are those are four inch tips and I do have them in the uh, description below so check that out all right so we've gone over the front lip the hood the wheels my exhaust setup which I'm also running a VRSF catalyst downpipe up front obviously now these I don't get that many questions about these but I have gotten a few and I know they're gonna be coming eventually these are uh, the force work side ex side square extensions I did not pay retail fortunately for me but if anybody's interested in getting a set brand new if you guys can afford them because I wasn't able to these are actually $700 for the uh, the set brand new um, so they're really nice I like them a lot and trust me if I had the money to spend I would have bought them brand new but at the moment I didn't so I think that's the most common questions guys uh, oh and my suspension I'm not on springs I'm on BC coolovers so I do have a link of the uh, the setup that I have in the uh, description below if anybody's interested so I'm running the BC combo uh, BC forge wheels and BC, BC coilovers but I think that's probably the most common questions that I get on Instagram and hopefully this video helps you guys if there's anything else that you guys do want to know leave a message uh, and I'll get back to you guys eventually Sometimes I'm really good about getting to you guys soon, uh, real quick, but then sometimes the time difference, my work schedule, just kind of depends on everything. So, uh, yeah guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to make it real quick, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.